So I tried a new direction A new mindset, a new state The rattling's what it is It's hard when you're a kid so we're getting ready to take off to do a uh, small trip today and something that we got Mabel like a week ago, maybe a little less, is this Pet Relief. It's CBD oil for dogs which uh, has been shown to, re to help with anxiety and like pain, but I mean she's not in pain, but just uh, you know how she acts in the car when we get to exciting areas just crying and it's really annoying. So. This is supposed to help, and it. I want this to drip. Uh, one sec. Uh, this is not the first time that we've given it to her, but this is the first time that we've given it to her, and then went on a a longer car ride, hiking trip, fun time land. So she does not like it. Sadly, I was hoping she would. Come on, ready. I know. I come here. I'm sorry. Sit. You're gonna make me sit to do something. Made. Sit. Come here. I'm sorry. God. You know I wouldn't do that to you, huh? I don't make you think bad either. Either. Now, of course, the CBD is not a miracle drug or miracle supplement or anything like that. But I did see some benefits the last time she took it. She just seemed a little bit more calm, just I'm trying not to put emotions on her, but she just didn't seem as anxious. I don't know, so I, th I think there's something to it, but we'll find out soon. Before we get out of town, I need to take three packages to the post office. Now sales have definitely slowed down these last couple weeks, uh, So, but yeah, three items over the night, and I don't think any of them were over $20. So all real, real low dollar stuff. So I know it looks like we're just getting ready to leave. We drove about 15 minutes away, realized we forgot Mabel's leash, came all the way back, which we got stuck in traffic, so it took, some, took about double the amount of time to get back. Now we have our leash, and we are good to go again. But that was a that was a false start right there. All right, on the road again. So maybe you'll die happy in this just a shadow of my former self. Okay, so we made a quick stop in Sandy, Oregon. So what we are doing is we are going to go to two ghost towns. Um, abandoned, partially abandoned, just minimal people living there. The first one we're doing is a town called Antelope, which I think has like 30 people, I think. And then after that we're heading a little bit north to a town called Doofer. I keep wanting to say Darfur, but it's Doofer. It sounds like a kind of a dumb name. Doofer. Which while looking for these ghost towns, I found that there is an actual Oregon place called Idiotville. And speaking of idiots, the suckers in there have an excellent deal going on. For three dollars, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one bag of combos. That's a crazy deal. Uh, right here in Sandy, Oregon, so get it while it's hot or something. So yeah, we're gonna get back on the road. We have a lot of hours to get underneath our belt before we get to Antelope. Just a mile, just a mile down the road, down the road and the street or two away. There's that freckle misses that I want most every day. Alright, so we made it through the mountains, through Mount Hood, 
And now we've made it to the other side of the Cascades where Oregon's landscape turns into desert. Uh, stop for a quick Mabel pee. And Mabel's real focused on something. Uh, but at this point there's like there's like no towns, no cities for you know for quite a while. And both of us are starting to have to pee as well. So uh, hoping to find something soon. And I think we have just about an hour until we get to Antelope. Did a quick pull off so I could put this camera away right here, and uh, apparently we are in Antelope right now. So hopefully we'll be going, getting into the actual city soon. No trespassing signs. Wild, wild country, whatever that is. So we just made it into Antelope. It's a museum. A museum over there? Sorry. I think so. So, uh, there's a post office and a trailer. Oh wow. We're, we're gonna, there's a deer in the middle of the road up there. Nice. We can see that. <laughs> no, I don't, that might be an antelope actually. You know? Yeah, that's where we are. You know, oh, going off the road. It's an old antelope cafe, which is really neat. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if it's active anymore. It's a family. Oh, it's a whole family. Oh yeah. Behind us, she won't. Yeah, all this, yeah, it's a baby and everything. They still have their spots. We're behind us. Okay. Cute little antelopes. So I just saw a person. You saw a person? Yeah, over there. Are they like washing them? No, you can Alright, so this is kind of like the back road of the town. There's like two two long strips going through. Oh, can't really jump out. She, she cannot jump out the window. I promise you she can't. Mabel's been decent. She's been better than normal for this trip. But she's pretty excited right now, as you can hear. Yeah, you got this. Perfect smooth road from some skateboarding. I'm gonna pull out my tripod, get a few pictures of this guy. Okay, so um, we've been here for about five or 10 minutes so far. I'm just kind of going around and getting photos of different abandoned buildings. And Haley's pulled out her skateboard and kind of cruising the smooth roads of Antelope. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this building right here and maybe maybe one more and then i think we're going to move on so there's a lot of really interesting clouds that we've been seeing all day once we got into the more desert area they're just like really thick like shelves had more time I'd love to sit here and do a time lapse see what they really do they're super neat I bring it in there in a second yeah. I was just listening to your story oh, wait. Yeah. oh yeah you guys just passing through and, and graveyard hunt yeah there's a there's a haunted graveyard over here oh uh, yeah Ouija board we used go said don't care, goodbye. <laughs> How did we get to the graveyard? Uh, go by the fire station, two blocks down that way. See where the ambulance is at? Yes. Just beyond there, turn and follow the road. See the road right out there? Yep. See the trailer? Yes. There should be, see where the sign's at? 
the there. like the green sign? Yes. Turn so there. turn left. Yeah. Okay. just took a small turn into uh, Dufer and I missed it but there was a beautiful sign up that said welcome to Dufer and it was just very worn um, yeah don't know what we're getting ourselves into what what to expect at all but we're getting close GPS says a half a mile this is like a real town this is more a real town than yeah. All I know is the internet says ghost town. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. I mean, it's definitely just a small town, but we'll, dri we'll drive around a little bit and see if we can find anything. Dufer is actually a pretty big little, pretty big little town. Uh, we turned off the main road and we've been going through residential areas for like 10 blocks now. And it's full of houses, no abandoned buildings. So I'm gonna pull over sometime soon and see if we can get internet service and search why Dufer was a ghost town and whatever website I came across earlier. Ooh. Okay, so I do not have any internet service at all, so I cannot yeah. find out why this town was a good, in the ghost town registry. So I'm just gonna drive around, or we're just gonna drive around for a little bit longer and I, don't know. I mean, regardless, I absolutely loved this whole drive, so the drive was worth it. And the, the first town was great too. Look at these colors. Yeah, it's Well, I guess uh, Doof, Doofer's ghost town is maybe this museum at the Historical Society? I don't know. We're gonna move along, kinda make our way home from here. It's just a beautiful sky tonight. I think, like the clouds are on fire. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's a do, do fur. Do fur. Do fur. Do fur. 
tie is so good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we're just gonna kind of make our way home from here. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Getting dark. Yeah. It is, I don't remember exactly, but I think it's about an hour and a half from here, Portland. Not too bad of a trip.